Hello friends and welcome, it's wonderful to have you here. I am Morjax, thanks for taking time to join me today. We're playing Mordheim City of the Damned and I'm coming at you with a leader build for the Sisters of Sigmar. Now this is a definitely a support build and the main feature is a skill called Order. So we're going to jump straight over to the skills here and I'll show you what's what. The main skill, the main attraction is Order and this it costs uh, four red pills. It says immediately grant a free attack against a random valid target within a, uh, with a plus 15% chance to hit. So you, it's a range of 30 meters and you target one of your own allies within 30 meters and you pay four red pills to force them to attack. And the situation where this would be useful is if you have a very, very heavy melee unit that you'd like to attack more often you can get two more attacks every round maybe more so one very good option for this is your uh, sisters of sigmar impressive who can hit very very hard if you uh if you put the right build on them so the next piece is introspection and this is i guess this isn't required but i rather like it once per turn you can convert three blue pills into two red pills and this can uh push the, the boundaries a little with order. If you have some other way to uh, get red pills or you've, you've spent some red pills and don't quite have enough. So I rather like introspection. Now the rest of the skills here are kind of up to you. I put intimidate, I rather like this one. It is a single enemy, it must be engaged with the user. The target takes a leadership test with a plus 5% bonus. On failure, it is forced to flee from the user, providing a free attack to anyone engaged with it. So this is really good for forcing them to flee. Uh, they have to take a leadership test. Um, it's kind of nice to have. Like I said, it's up to you what you put here, but that's one that I kind of like. And the last one is Web of Steel. So this is these are all mastered, all these skills I should mention. Now, it is a stance that ends the current turn, and it allows the user to take three parry attempts. And then uh, I also have Knowledge Mordheim as my passive skill, and that increases my movement by two meters. The idea being there, the movement will get you into position to uh, use your order. So let's move on to the equipment here. And this is also quite flexible. On the helmet, I didn't quite know what to put. Uh, I'd rather like the Helmet of Celerity, which increases initiative. Just kind of a nice thing to have. It's, it's really up to you what you put there. Uh, you can use your discretion. So the armor, I put armor of toughness, and the idea being I want to get my armor very, very high, and uh, or my toughness very, very high, so that I can keep this unit on the field, continue to cast order, and uh, continue to be a, a support unit. So that is why I put more into toughness, and you can see we're almost at the absolute maximum of 20 toughness. Now leadership, I've maxed out to 20 and put the rest in intelligence. You only need 15 and 15 for uh, order and introspection respectively. Um, I just went for it. I went, uh, I said, you know, if it's worth doing, it's worth overdoing. So put it all into leadership. And I actually did use a tome of, uh, I'm sorry, yeah, a tome of leadership and then a mental grimoire to put all points from 18, uh, all my points into leadership to get it up to that maximum of 20. Now I also put in uh, weapon skill up to 19. I believe web of steel only needs 15. Uh, but the uh, weapon skill gives you extra melee resistance. It gives you melee hit chance and parry chance. So you can see down here, our parry chance with the shield and high weapon skill is 96%. So we have web of steel, three chances to parry, each one at a 96%, which in my mind is quite good. So for the weapon, this is really kind of up to you. I chose a Sigmarite Warhammer of Alacrity, and that says on damage received, 25% chance to gain one OP, which is the red pill. And where this becomes useful, if you cast order twice, you, you can see in the top left, we've got nine red pills to spend. And uh, so order's going to cost four each time, and that's going to put us down to one red pill. And then we'll spend our blue to do a web of steel stance. And now the first attack, let's say we parry it with our 96% parry chance. The first attack, uh, you'll have one red pill to do a counterattack. And then with this rune of alacrity there's a 25 percent chance that we'll get another red pill so the next time we parry an attack which we can do three each round uh, we can once again attack back so you can parry three times every round and you have a chance to counter attack with this uh with this rune of alacrity 
And then last of all, I've put the Shield of Empowering here, and the Empowering Rune says a 30% chance to gain 1 OP on successful parry. And this is exactly the same thinking as the as the weapon here. So you've got a 25% chance and a 30 uh, you've got a 25% chance every time you're damaged to gain a red pill back and a 30% chance to gain a red pill each time you parry. So you get a lot of chance to do counterattacking with this particular build. And last of all, last but not least, let's take a look at the spells. Now these again are really up to you. She comes with Sinful Speech maxed. I really like that to shut down enemy casters. It's up to you uh, on these other two. I chose Comet of Sigmar just because Sisters of Sigmar are uh, rather hurting for a ranged option. In fact, this is their only ranged option. And so uh, I like to just splash that whenever I get the opportunity. And this last one, I chose Healing Circle, but there's uh, Sigmar Second Wind or a whole bunch of other ones you can do. Basically, I'm just going with the support uh, theory, uh, the, that sort of idea of being a supportive leader or supportive uh, unit in your warband. So that is the whole build. I hope you enjoy this. Uh, if you like it, uh, go ahead and give a like there, or uh, if you have any thoughts on this build, please do give comments below. I, I'm always on the lookout for ways to improve the builds that I'm making. Uh, if you like this build, let me know the part that you liked best. Uh, do enjoy. I should also mention, this was spurred by a user in the Gentleman of Mordheim, The Death Dealer. So thank you, The Death Dealer, for the idea. He requested an order build for your leader, and he said he particularly likes, likes Sisters of Sigmar. So I thought, what the heck, I'll make a build for it. So, thank you so much for watching. We will catch you next time in Mordheim, City of the Damned.